What's up my friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we are continuing on the summer style cocktail video theme. It looks like it's a theme right now in the channel because it's very hot outside, I feel for something refreshing and at the same time I feel like sharing my favorite refreshing cocktails with you. But today we're going to do it a little bit differently. We're going to make four frozen cocktails. Not all frozen cocktails are born equal, you know, some are very bad and cheesy but not today. Oh. No, today it's gonna be delicious. Believe me, we're gonna make some of my favorite frozen cocktail recipes. If you guys are ready, go get your blender. Let's get ready to make some noise and make some delicious cocktails. Let's go. First cocktail of the day, we're gonna make the Missionary's Downfall, an amazing rum cocktail blended with pineapple, mint, peach liquor, honey syrup, and lime juice. It is very good. It's also sometimes, oftentimes I should say, confused with another cocktail called the Aku Aku, which is actually very similar. But according to the more serious sources that I have, I think that this cocktail is not the Aku Aku. It is the Missionary's Downfall. So if you guys are ready, let's make it. We're gonna start right away in a blender. All cocktails are gonna be made in the blender, right? It's frozen cocktail special. So let's do it in a blender. We're gonna pour an ounce and a half or 45 mils of light white rum, half an ounce or 15 mils of peach liqueur, one ounce or 30 mils of freshly pressed pineapple juice, three quarters of an ounce or 22.5 mils of one-to-one -one honey syrup, three quarters of an ounce or 22.5 mils of freshly squeezed lime juice. And we're gonna finish this up with fresh mint leaves. There are different schools of tots here for the quantity. My favorite quantity is seven grams. Then we're gonna add to this 180 grams of ice, we're gonna blend it until smooth and we're gonna serve this in a chilled cocktail coupe. For the garnish, a mint sprig is mandatory and you can also add a little piece of pineapple. And there you go, my friends. This is how we make the first frozen cocktail of the day, the Missionary's Downfalls. Cheers. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's a great one. I love it. And you know what surprised me the most when I first tried that? What got me hooked on this one is the mouthfeel. The fact that we blend so much mint in it, it gives a very interesting texture that makes me feel like I'm having a granita. I think that's what separates this one from all the other frozen cocktails that I've ever had. And I really love it. But it also got me wondering, is it too much mint? Because it's the dominant flavor. So I tried it with lower amount of mint and it wasn't as good. So for me, this is the perfect recipe. This is the missionary's downfall like it should be made. Now let's make a second one, also very tasty and fun. We're gonna make a peach moresque. Let's go. For me, there's not a lot of things that evoke summer like a good moresque does. Playing petanque on a hot summer day drinking pastis in any form, this is what life should look like. If you don't know what a moresque is, it's pastis with orange syrup, a small cube of ice, and you fill your glass all the way up with cold water. And when you make a frozen cocktail, you add a lot of dilution. So I thought to myself, if I take this whole lot of water and replace it by ice, once blended, we're still gonna have a perfectly balanced cocktail, but in a form of a slush. I tried it and it was fantastic. And you know what's even better? If you throw some fruits in there. I had some white peaches on hand and I tried it. It was delicious. But today we're not gonna use pastis. We're gonna use absinthe. Why? Super simple. Before pastis was born, people were drinking absinthe and they were drinking moresque with absinthe. And that's how we're gonna do it today. So once again, grab your blender and pour in it one ounce and a half or 45 mils of absinthe half an ounce or 15 mils of orange syrup, and one small flat white peach. If you don't have the same variety or you wanna be precise, mine was weighing about 75 grams without the pith. Now you're gonna add 180 grams of ice and blend it until smooth. Then you're simply gonna dump it all in a cocktail coupe and garnish it with a mince break. And voila, the frozen peach moresque. Cheers. Mm. You know, I have the feeling that a lot of people believe that to be refreshing, a cocktail needs to be acidic. Here it's not the case. It is slightly on the sweet side and fruity, and even though it's not tart, it is super refreshing. I also tried it with raspberries. It worked really well, but believe me, with white peaches, it is something else I highly recommend. You give it a try. Now we're gonna do something completely different. Have you guys ever heard of a frozen Negroni? That's good. 
This is a recipe that I took from Jeffrey Morgan Tyler. I read on his blog that this was never meant to be a cocktail to be shared, but a lot of his friends knew he was making that at home and requested for the recipe. It took him a long time to write it down on the blog, but he finally done it and oh, thank you man. That's a great cocktail. A lot of purists will say though that this is no longer a classic Negroni because of the addition of two more ingredients than the classic gin, sweet vermouth and Campari. But in that scenario, it is very important. He adds some orange juice and simple syrup. Why? Super simple. When you add that much dilution to a cocktail, when you make a frozen drink, you need some body and extra sweetness to hold up on the dilution. And these two ingredients do exactly that. And you still have the feeling you're having a perfect Negroni but frozen. So in your blender, you're gonna add one ounce or 30 ml of gin, one ounce or 30 ml of Campari, one ounce or 30 ml of sweet vermouth, one ounce or 30 ml of simple syrup, and two ounces or 60 ml of freshly squeezed orange juice. Then you're gonna add 250 grams of ice and blend it until smooth. Then you're simply gonna dump it all in a glass and garnish it with orange slices. Ladies and gentlemen, Jeffrey Morgan Tyler's Frozen Negroni. Cheers. Mm. 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 So good. You like Negronis? It's a hot summer day. You know what to do. That's it. I don't have anything else to say. Just do it. Now let's make the last cocktail of the day. We're gonna make a vermouth cobbler for a low ABV end. Let's go. This last option of the day is great for many reasons. And I think one of them is if you're planning on having many drinks on a hot summer day, maybe you should pace yourself with a low ABV drink just to make sure that this day doesn't end too fast. That's always great. Also, because it's a vermouth cobbler, usually we hear sherry cobbler, which are great cocktails because there's many different varieties of sherry cobblers, but sherries are fortified wine. So why not using that bottle of dry vermouth that is sitting in your fridge and use that instead to just empty it up? Because you know, a bottle of vermouth has a shelf life of about 30 days. So if you have one open that you are afraid it's gonna pass, just make this cocktail and it's great. It also, it tastes really good. I think it's important to mention, it tastes really good. So let's make this cocktail. <laughs> let's make it. In a blender, you're gonna add six to eight raspberries, two long cucumber ribbons, half an ounce or 15 ml of freshly squeezed lemon juice, one and a quarter ounces or 37.5 ml of simple syrup, and three ounces or 90 ml of dry vermouth. To that, you're gonna add 180 grams of ice and blend until smooth. Then you can serve this in a highball glass and garnish it with a cucumber slice. And there you go, the vermouth cobbler. Cheers. Mm. This one is fresh, light, fruity, and citrusy. And is perfect for a pool day. And you know what, for me, pool day also means friends over. And this is what I love about frozen cocktails. If you have a large blender, you can make a large batch, which is great because with a cocktail shaker, you can hardly make more than two at a time. So with frozen cocktails, with a large blender, that's more time for you to enjoy with your friends and less in the kitchen. That's great, especially when it's a hot summer day. So guys, that's it for me today. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Hit the like and the bell if you want to be notified when we post a new one. Until then, thank you very much again. Have a great day and see you very soon. Cheers.